They may have a great product, a great idea, um, a service that's needed in the community or at large. And whether it's minority or otherwise, it's, okay, where do I go from here? BusinessJournalDaily.com, Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. The biggest challenge I think they encounter would be where to go or next steps. So they may have a great product, a great idea, um, a service that's needed in the community or at large. And whether it's minority or otherwise, it's, okay, where do I go from here? I have this great product or idea, what do I do next? So it's the technical side of things, understanding how do I put together a business plan, a business model, um, projections, cost estimates. So it's like, hey, this is great. And everybody's like, there's a buy-in. But at the same time, it's like, all right, well, where do we go from here? So how do you put that um, into reality and put it out in the marketplace? And even before you get that far, it's okay, I have this, how do I prepare myself? And that's where the resources in our community come into play, whether it's the Youngstown Business Incubator that has, it's called MBAC, which stands for Minority Business um, Assistance Center. So they help put those pieces of the puzzle together in preparing them to be able to come to a lender at, say, Farmers, who can then help them so they've taken the steps necessary to get them to that point. So the barrier to answer your question would be next steps, the technical side of things, mm -hmm. how do they, you know, the who, what, where, when, why can be answered by connecting with resources or, or whether a Valley Partners or Youngstown State University has, has a program, it's SBDC and it's Small Business Development Center. So it's organizations like that that help put the, the legs to the vision. They've um, allowed me to, to have the leeway to go out in the community and meet with organizations or individuals and try to uncover those opportunities and then having the assistance here, whether it's through the commercial lending side, the consumer side, and having the products and the resources available so that when I'm going out and uncovering um, these individuals who are looking to start a business, I find example, just recently there was a young lady who was a client of mine on the residential side. She would assist another individual who would clean dealerships mm -hmm. in the evening hours to supplement her income. So she said, hey, you know, I think I can do this myself. I'd like to start my own business. So I connected her with the resource at the Youngstown Business Incubator, got together a plan. It was a couple of month process, but she ended up starting her own business. And so it's, um, you know, connecting individuals with resources and farmers or incumbent upon myself and others in the organization, but being that I'm out there in the community, just, you know, kind of being aware of the organizations that are helping individuals. You know, we've partnered with YBI on a couple of little um, projects, so it's working with these organizations and seeing how we can help. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications. And also make sure to connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. For all of your business news, visit businessjournaldaily.com. For all of your arts and entertainment news, go to afterhoursyoungstown.com. Businessjournaldaily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. I like a bank that's a pillar in my community. I like a bank so cutting edge, they have a lab branch. We are so alike. Well, we do both bank at Farmers National Bank. Farmers. Stand strong.